Good morning, everyone. How's everybody doing on this Easter Monday? And how was your weekend? I hope it was good. I didn't do anything special. I didn't even cook. I didn't do anything. I had no company, no nothing, and I just took it easy. That's all I did. And I got up this morning and realized, of course, I'm out of milk. Just about. I got about that much milk in my refrigerator. And it looks like it's going to rain. It's cloudy out there. And I was debating whether to go out to the store or not. I decided to go out. I didn't get much. I just got the milk. I got two half a gallons again. And um, I got 24 water this time. 24 bottles of water sitting over there on the floor. Got me some of my usual, the skins. And I got me some herb garlic butter, and I got a, what else I get? Oh, a cabbage, and a hamburger. I'm on a hamburger trip, y'all. I'm on a meatloaf. Let's do it again, meatloaf. Let's do it again. Let's do it better. And uh, until we perfect it. You know, like that first one. That first one that I made was perfect. But that second one, it was edible, but not so perfect. So we're going to do it again. But we ain't going to do it today because I still got short ribs in there that I cooked. And uh, so that's what I'm going to have today. And, uh, you know, it's not cold outside. It's just, which reminds me, I don't have any heat. <laughs> but I got heaters. So I'm going to call, I got to call my office and tell them that the thermostat, I think it needs a battery. And so that shouldn't take them long. Just come over here and change the battery and to change the filter. Because I can't even remember the last time that I changed the filter. <laughs> I mean, they changed the filter. I, I don't call them people unless I, you know, really have to. First and foremost, I don't, you know. Yeah. Ah. Ain't nothing like H2O, y'all. Drink H2O when you ain't got nothing else to drink. And have you ever drink so much alcohol and beverages until the next day you are dried out and you got a thirst that won't wait? Have you ever experienced that? Which some of y'all probably experienced it on Monday morning. I, mean, I have experienced that um, many many times. Uh, unbearable. Oh my goodness, I couldn't quench the thirst. And someone told me, I think it was my sister-in-law, she says, well, drink some milk. Oh my goodness. And I tried that, tore my stomach all to pieces, y'all. I mean, it really, you know, uh, uh, milk used to really do me real bad. But I started drinking the um, uh, organic. I drink organic milk now, but not the lactate, you know, the lactose free or whatever. I don't, I don't drink that. I don't even uh, try the two percent. I don't like the two percent milk either. So I, I love the organic though. It tastes really good on the uh, cereal. And I'm watching my aquariums this morning. See my hat, y'all. I try that on. It does not fit correctly. Oh, fish. Nature. See, these are the things that we got thankful for. We, we, we should be grateful for. Things that we don't, we take it, we take, uh, what do you call it, uh, for granted. We take little things like that for granted. But those things are important for us, you know, our, our very survival. And, and you know, the sparrow, I think, is the only bird that's, Universal. Is that correct? You know the little sparrow bird everywhere you go, you see that little sparrow. And, and even the Bible tells you keep your eye on the sparrow. And I think that's about the only bird that no matter where you go, you will see a sparrow. And I forgot how many different, uh, is it species or or varieties of sparrows, you know, because they, they do come in, I think, a uh, a different variety. But nature is important to us. That's why they keep telling you to uh, plant trees. But if we plant the trees and they're constantly tearing the trees down, 
What are we supposed to do? How long does it take for a tree to become an, an adult? Okay, if you plant a baby tree this year, next year, it's not going to be an, an adult. It'll be like a toddler. <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It'll be small. And then eventually, when it gets to be a certain age, you will see the aging, and you could tell about how old that tree is by certain markings on a tree. That's how the, um, I guess they're scientists or anthropologists or whoever they are. You know, so many people up there got all these fancy names. I can't keep up with all that crap, y'all. I just have to think, you know, like, mm, layman's terms. <laughs> I mean, I ain't no genius after all. But, uh... I was going to show you the turtle, but the turtle is gone. But there's a beautiful scenery you can look at. Look at that. I mean, it's amazing. I, 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 I just think it's amazing. The only thing that I find, you know, that uh, is very disturbing to me is the favorite fish that I love is the porgy. Where are the por porgies up north? Where are the porgies? I can't find the genuine porgies. And at one time, they were trying to pass another fish off as a porgy. I know porgies. You can't fool me with passing another fish off on a porgy. And a lot of people don't like porgies because they, they think they taste too fishy. But I love porgies, my favorite porgy. And the catfish is good, but there's something about that catfish. He got whiskers and stuff. And he looks, you know, his eyes, well, you know, my eyes are kind of beady too, but you know how catfish look. And a catfish is scary. I think they sting you. I'm not sure. Because we used to have, like, a uh, catfish down home. And we used to have, what's the other fish called? It's called a jack. I don't know if that's the same as a jack mackerel, you know, what the situation is. But I remember my grandmother, Grandma Daisy. Grandma Daisy used to go fishing, sit out there on the fish bank, you know, and somewhere in the woods. We went with her one time. We wanted to go with Grandma Daisy to go fishing. And we got so bored out there in the woods. You know, there's a little creek or something out there in the middle of nowhere in a forest. You know, surrounded by trees. And Grandma Daisy, she just sat there and she patiently had her little fish pole. Not a rod and reel, mind you. We didn't have no rods and reel back in that day. And it was like a reed or something with a line. It had the fishing line, you know, that strong line on it. And then it had that little crooked hook. And she just sit there all day long. And we just bored. We wanted to get the heck out of there, but uh, we didn't know our way home. <laughs> so we had to stick it out. And I think that particular day we went fishing with her. She caught two jackfish. Two fish. She sat there all freaking day. Just might as well say all day. I don't even think we even had anything to eat. I can't remember that part. But all day she comes back with her two fish. She's happy. <laughs> She comes back, and she cleans the fish, and you know what she did? She made gravy with the fish. Best thing I ever tasted in my life. My grandmother could make a meal out of anything. I don't care what it was. She could make it taste good. And we ate the fish, and we was, after that, we was happy. <laughs> Just like she was. She was happy first, though, because she caught the fish. And we were ready to go home. Oh, man, those were the days, y'all. I'm sure you got some memories. I have some memories of myself, quite a few of them. And uh, another time when she went, we went huckleberry. What do they call it? Huckleberry picking or something? Other, but that, Grandma Daisy didn't, I don't think Grandma Daisy went with us. Maybe she went with us once. I don't remember, though. I know my mother was a huckleberry picker. Take her out, take us out in the woods and get some wild. Well, today they call them blueberries. They might have called them blueberries back there, but they call them going huckleberry. What was it? Hunting berries. I really can't tell you the truth because I don't really know. And we took this lady who was scared of everything with us one time. 
everything. She was worse than me. I almost bad with the insects and stuff like that. I'm jumping and, you know, the worms, the bugs, the whatever is out there, or fish. Not a fish, but I'm scared of fish too. Ain't you? You don't want to touch no fish either, right? And so, <laughs> and definitely ain't touching no crab and, you know, all that other stuff. And uh, she was scared. She creeping around in the wood. I mean, if you scared, why you gonna creep around and, and act all mysterious and stuff? And she scared to touch her foot to the ground and stuff. I said, oh, Lord, we'll leave her home next time because she was worse than me. She was a bad influence. But my mother would pick the huckleberries. And, we and you know, there was something that she used to make with the huckleberries. Not necessarily a pie, but it was something like dumplings that she would sort of roll them up or something and cook the huckleberry and put that in there. That was so good. And my grandmama used to make those too. My grandmother used to make it. A lot of people used to make things out of wild stuff they find out there in the woods. We even had wild plums. Wild plums are the best plums. And we was from North Carolina, so, you know, you might see a wild plum over there. You go over there and get you some wild plums. Like they say. Hmm. You can, you can live off the uh, land if you really have to. Depends, I guess it depends on what city, you know, where you're at, your locale, wherever you're located, uh, that you would be able to live and survive off the land. I ain't talking about that guy that be on TV, you know, eating all the spiders and the bugs. I ain't about to go in there. You know, you could dig a hole and find something probably to eat, like a worm or something. Yuck. Ooh, somebody said that old earthworm tastes pretty good. I don't know, though. No, no. I can't witness to that, y'all, because I don't know. Never tasted no worm before. I think the closest thing I ever ate to a worm was tasting an eel. I think it was an eel. Because my mother had an eel in in a... Uh, I guess I'm talking too much. My mother had an eel in a... What do you call it? A fish bowl. You know, we had a big fish bowl. We didn't have no aquarium in our house or, you know, a tank or nothing like that that gives air. And this, this is the one. I might have told this story before. And she had this eel in the fish bowl. And, you know, he was twirling around. He, was, he had to have room, but there was, you know, the fish, fish bowl was pretty big. I don't know if you still can make those or not. Matter of fact, I got a little small fish boat in there right now, but it's right that big. And I got my plants, you know, growing up out of there. I mean, growing around it. It's sitting there on my windowsill in the kitchen. But this particular fish bowl is wide. And I thought this eel was going to get somehow or another, get out of that fish bowl and get me. <laughs> me only. You know, I got four other siblings. It's just going to get me. <laughs> I'm terrified of the eel, but I think my mother finally cooked them. So I might have had some eel. But other than that, nah. Give me a fish, I'll deal with that. I ain't too crazy about shrimp. But I used to be, you know, I used to like shrimp. I used to eat shrimp when I was younger. And uh, I loved them, you know. They uh, had a fish place out there, down there, out there in the... Uh, by the water, by the uh, ocean. And they used to cook those, uh, what do you call it? Shrimp and clams. Filet, they, could, they had a whole lot of seafood out there that you could, you know, that you could order and eat. And it was good. But today, I think the last time I tried shrimp was last year. And I couldn't eat them because of my teeth. But then I got to thinking about those things. Those are the things that be down there at the bottom of the ocean eating all that, keeping the bottom of the ocean clean. I don't think we're supposed to eat that stuff, y'all. But I mean, it was good back in the day. I used to love me a butterfly, uh, what you call it butterfly shrimp? You know, the one you split open and he's white, you know, he's it, those things were good back in the day, you know, but I can't eat a lot of stuff now because of my teeth. Wow, that's a lot of goldfish out there. Y'all need to go get you some goldfish. That way you won't have to buy them. 
Go out there in the coral reef and get you some. <laughs> I mean, there you go. You know, diving into the coral reef is not a great idea. So strike that one off, y'all. Don't put that on your bucket list. Could be dangerous. You know what I'm saying? You got to be an experienced diver to go out there messing around in the coral reef. But anyway, I'm jibber japping again, y'all. I got to go in here. I got to put this. Matter of fact, I put the hamburger away. I only bought one meat hamburger and I bought the uh let me show you what I bought uh, ooh, I'm stiff this morning y'all I think it's because of the weather and you know what it's supposed to be raining just about every day this week this is the garlic butter right here y'all you hear people talking about garlic butter on the web. I heard Anthony talking about it and uh, Justine, Justine World talking about the garlic butter. This is, let's see if I can read what it says. So y'all can go get you some herb and garlic butter if you don't have some already. And I forgot to give me some bread. I wanted some Italian bread to get with, you know, go with it. But I forgot the bread when I went to the store. I ain't going back. Carry gold. That's the kind of carry gold garlic and herb butter. And we shall, we're going to try it. If I happen to make some biscuits, y'all, I'm going to make some biscuits because we're going to get, try this butter because I never tried it before myself. I got it because they were talking about it. I'm not fact, not about a lot of stuff that I hear about, you know, people talking about on the Internet, watching these cook shows and all this kind of stuff. I got a whole cabinet. Well, y'all see my cabinet. whole cabinet full of stuff that I bought because watching these cook shows and all this stuff these people talk, talking about that I ain't never even heard about it, y'all. I ain't never used it. Never used it. Now, I've heard of regular paprika. Here's one thing. I, I, you know, it's quite a few things. And the smoked paprika. I never tried it. Never had it. And there was something else. Now, this I've tried. I, I bought this. No, no, that's the honey. No, 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 that's not it. I'm going to hang up the video in a minute, y'all. I was trying to find sesame. sesame. Oh, there it is. Way back there, sesame oil. It's good, though. I mean, I like that sesame oil. And they said keep it in a cool dry, I guess, dark place. So I got it back there in the dark place. <laughs> Only use it maybe once or twice. Uh, and you can't use a lot. That's one thing you cannot use. A oh, shoot, I'm on. Jamaican curry powder. I mean, I could go on and on and on, y'all, with the stuff that I bought just watching these cooking channels on TV. And, and you know, I said, that's it. I ain't buying nothing else. But then, um, oh, here's some more stuff in my bag. I forgot, y'all. Look, I got more stuff. I forgot. In my new shopping bag. See, this is my new shopping bag. Oh, my goodness. I really forgot. Wait a minute. I don't even know what's... Oh, I just got a box of cereal, of course. And I bought me some more onions. And they're all in my little bag. Look at that. I messed up my little bag with them onions. All in there. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you know how onions shed. So I'm going to have to dump that out somewhere. And I got to put this, uh, I think this is 7% fat, 93% lean. I got the leaner one this time. And... Of course, my Cheerios. Honey Nut Cheerios. I gotta stop eating so much of that stuff, come to think of it. And on that note, y'all, I go with love, and I'll see you again soon.